Transformers, Jetfire KO, Explorer Elder, TW1103 from Byway. Combined morphology. Ooh, electrify. Electrify? Electrify? Ooh, not yet, buddy. We have to wait for him to die first. You know, dead. What? How is that going to happen? Don't ask. This set is a KO of Studio Series 35 Jetfire combined with the DK11 DNA Designs add-on set. The instructions are okay. Shows how to transform Jetfire from vehicle to robot and the combined mode between him and Prime. Since this is a KO of Studio Series 35 Jetfire, it will combine with Studio Series 32 Prime or Byway's Star Leader. And this booklet here shows how the DNA Designs DK11 parts attach to Prime in Truck Mode and Jetfire in Jet Mode and Power Up Prime Combined Mode. These instructions are kind of vague, so I'll, I'll let you know as we go. Here's the bag of parts from the DNA Designs add-on. Very nice. Get this sucker open. Here's everything you get inside. Very nice quality. Let's get it out of the packaging. Here's one of the parts. Very well done. The heel is die-cast, so it's got good weight to it. Beautiful paint. Great quality. Oh, there he is. Jetfire's my name. All right, all right, enough of that. Man, that leader class figure, I tell you. Here's the wings. Here's his axe. Okay, time to assemble Jetfire. First, we'll take the legs and we'll attach them to the body. They simply just slide on here, right there, real easy. Nice good click. They also tab in the sides here. Hold very securely. Let's fold his little fins up. And we'll take the front of the jet. It will connect here, but first there's a slot underneath. Attach the two parts. This is where he gets ripped in half for combined mode. So let's just pop this on. Nice click. There we go. And this folds up. Tabs in here. Now we'll put the cockpit parts on. You simply clip in. It's a decent connection. Take the landing gear and fold it like this. Fold this part down. There we go, and this will peg to this slot right here. And we'll tab these in. There's two more locking spots to hold it in. On the bottom, oh, here's where the hands tab in. Just make sure these are tabbed. Of course, make it nice and solid. You can attach the extra barrel parts here. And the strap things slide in the back here, and they tab in the wings here. The axe stores right in the bottom here. Fold the rear landing gear down, and we're done. Overall, really good quality. Good detail work. Byway does a wonderful job with these figures. It is missing some fin decals here, along with a few around the cockpit and the yellow dot. But you can get a repro label set and sticker them up if you like. Really solid. Holds together real well. Alright, let's get this bag of parts open and see what we all get. Here's the clip to attach the backpack. And we're going to need the chest part here. This clip in jet mode stores right here. These two ankle fins peg in here to give him some Firefox stealth wings. Looks pretty cool. Then back here there's two tabs you can peg these in. This is how I do it. You can do it the opposite way as well. 
And here are all the parts that do not connect in jet mode. Ooh! Electrify? Electrify? Yes, let's electrify! Hey, slow your roll, buddy. Man, I told you, you gotta wait for him to D-I-E. Oh, man, this kid. Oh, electrify! For vehicle mode size comparison, here he is with the Byway Megatron tank. Here is the Studio Series Ironhide and Studio Series Premium Ratchet and Bumblebee. Oh, and, oh wait, he's dead. Here is Studio Series Starscream. And here's Josh Duhamel. Hey Sam, you wanna go for another ride? No, 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 hand, no, no, no. Oh, come on, Sam. What do you need two hands for? <laughs> right, Josh Duhamel? Hell yeah, I'm gonna ride this sucker no-handed. <laughs> Come on, baby. That's right, you suck, Sam. Bye. You taste like diesel. Ugh. For transformation, remove the landing gear and fold into this position. Yeah, this is a problem on my copy. This cockpit part just falls off sometimes. Gotta be careful. First of all, take the arms and then take the legs Unpeg them from the sides of the vehicle. We'll grab these little waist parts here, fold them out. We'll take the foot and we'll fold it outward, fold out his little toe, we'll rotate it, fold down the foot, and put it in its chicken leg configuration. Space chicken! like that. And we'll do the same for the other leg. Then we'll take his jet crotch and put the two parts together till we have a firm snap. Rotate the legs around. Take these side thigh pieces, make sure they're in position. We'll then unfold the arms and accordion the torso like this. Space chicken! And then we'll split these flaps open. And we'll fold this down right here, being careful it doesn't pop out. And we'll fold it down again. I'm going to take that whole part and we'll slide down back here. Split the backpack. And it kind of folds back on itself like this. Just like that. Then this part will slide in between and it will peg together here to hold in place. For these shoulders you want to slide them up and they tab in very securely. Right here you hear the click. There we go. Get the arms into position. Now all this old geezer needs is a cane. Plug the landing gear cane in his hand here and you're ready to walk real slow. Oh yeah, these parts here, they come around and they tab into the torso here. Line it up here. And we'll do the same thing on the other side here. Jetfire is a name. Oh, not again. His axe simply plugs into his hand, just like the original. But there is a peg on the side of the axe that you can plug into the palm. The hands are not from the DNA design set. They're the stock hands with no posability, which I understand because this guy you want mostly for combined mode. Behold, the internal glory of Jetfire. For articulation, it's got posable wrists. They hand bend up hand. and down and swivel. Bicep swivel, elbow. Shoulder can rotate fully. The head is very posable. Looks up, down, left, right. Rotates on a good ball joint. The little Three Stooges curly hair flaps can move. Nothing at the waist. Hips up and down, in and out. Rotate. This chicken leg can bend all sorts of ways. And the foot can rotate, ankle tilt, and bend up and down. Nice. Oh, he's got flappy wings too. And he's got top flaps that can flap. Let's put these into a more compact position, shall we? For size comparison, here he is with the KO Byway Studio Series 32 Prime Star Leader. I like that coat of paint. 
Oh. Here is Byway's Megatron. Megatron's still pretty big for a Voyager. And here is Studio Series Starscream. No tattoo version, unfortunately. Here is Studio Series Ironhide with the DNA upgrade set. Ooh, my cannons! Oh! And here is Studio Series Premium Ratchet. And of course, Bumblebee and the Fleshlings, Sam and Michaela. Beep, 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 beep! And here he is with the big, oversized AOI Mac Jetfire figure. Also, there's a swivel hinge on the top flaps in case you want to display it like this. Give me your face. What? Oh, I'm just practicing for the fallen. <clears throat> Give me your face. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Give me your face. Ooh, menacing. Hey, wait, what are you? Give me. No. Oh, sorry. Oh, a little too, uh, a little too aggressive there. Oh, oh me butterfingers. You're a butter face. <laughs> Man, that is nasty. Hm. Uh -huh. You really should get that looked at. <laughs> Watch your language, Jetfire. Huh. Weird. I kind of feel like Santa. Ho, ho, ho! Electrify? Oh, yeah. oh. Patience? <laughs> Should I be worried here? I may be old, but I'm not stupid. Oh, wait. Uh, okay, Jetfire, um, I need you to reach in and pull your own spark out. Uh, excuse me? What are you even smoking? Go! Get him now! Get him now! Hummy, hummy, high five! Oh, yeah. High five. Who's the man? Yeah. Let's buy. <laughs> Joel, alive. Joel! Joel, we need more! Unlimited power! Whew. Damn right. King Electrify. That's what ladies call me. <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need some help putting this suit of armor on. Joel! Joel, give me a hand! Sorry, Prime. I'm gonna need about 40 hours of recharge. I'm no Tesla. <laughs> I guess I'll have this pesky human help me. Help me, human. Sure, Prime. First, we'll get rid of this upper torso, since it won't be used in the combined mode. Same thing with this cane. It won't be used. Let's get his pants ready. Oh. First of all, get rid of these humans, too. No, no, no! And we'll take Prime. And to get him ready... You gotta fold his legs in. So just reverse transform these like you're going back into truck mode. Make sure that you fold it down and it clicks in place. Let's do the same for the other side. Then we'll take Jetfire's leg, open it up. There's a tab and a slot here. So we'll just combine them. And then in front here, there's a slot. We'll take the Jetfire leg part and it'll clip in. Fold this piece down. There we go. We'll fold this out of the way for now. Now we got to give him new feet. And these new foot parts pop over Jetfire's toes. It's a pretty snug fit, so watch out you don't scratch the paint. I like my new boots. <laughs> these boots are made for walking. <laughs> All over Jetfire's dead body. <laughs> Seriously, Prime? For these ankle wings, first of all, if you got to remove this part... It's just on a mushroom peg, so just pop it off. Then replace it with the little Hermes wings that Prime has on his ankles. You can position as you like. Very nice. Let's do the same thing for this side. Remove, clip on the wing, and position. Looking good. Now that these parts aren't used, we'll toss them onto the dead jet fire pile. Here are the kneecaps. These simply plug into the bottoms of Prime's feet right here. These are the best additions, as looking at the bottoms of his feet was such an eyesore in the original figure. Look at that. Awesome. We'll open his chest and we'll remove his ab parts. We have to swap that with the combiner part. Right there. Close this up. Okay, next up we have these leg parts, and they'll Attached to his thighs with a port and a peg here. 
simply pop that on. Solid. We'll do the same thing on this side. Plug that on. Now onto the backpack. First, you want to make sure that you take these wing parts and pull them all the way out. They're on a double hinge. And then flip up the fins and rotate the thruster all the way upwards. Then flip the wing out to the side. Do the same thing on this side. Rotate the thruster and flip the wing out. That's a cool addition from the DNA set. For the back, you just simply invert it upside down. And these we'll use later. The small little wings, they simply clip right on to the larger wings right here. There's a half circle here, you can tell where to position the wing. We'll do the same thing with this side. Plug it in. Once again, looking at that half circle here. There we go. And the clip piece clips up in here. You gotta wedge it in. It's pretty solid. In there, it's a position. Now we'll get prime ready. Grab his backpack, flip it all the way up, out the way. There's these little hooks here. Flip these out. Both sides. And once these are in position, we grab his backpack and they're going to peg in right here. Just like the original. And then the clip will slide up over the grill. So you've got to bend prime over. Slide it on up. Like this. And you'll know it's in the right position when the pegs line up and you just pop it in. Do the same thing with this side. Plug it in. Nice and solid. It's a very secure connection. We'll grab these little flexible cable things. They go up under his armpits. And then they connect together. And once they're together, they simply would plug in to the new chest part. And for the backpack, kind of condense it down. And then condense it down again. Make sure it's plugged in. He also comes with these two thruster cones. And they simply pop up top for added effect. He has this smaller little wrist cannon. How cute. And then for his shoulder pads, you split the cockpit in half. Fold it a bit here at this hinge. And they'll plug into the tops of his shoulders. You might have to uh, move the tank pieces back a little bit to get them into place. And there we are. Now for the BFG. This is another awesome addition. You could use the original dead jet fire torso, but it just is way too big and looked wonky. So we'll take this and plug it to the bottom of his fist, under slung. And this is supposed to plug in here. So you take this cord and it's supposed to plug in here. Oh my. And there he is. His posability is limited now, of course. His arms move kind of the same. His legs can kick forward, can kick back a little, can bend at the knee. Still got the ankle tilt. But he's just so bulky, he looks best standing. Or you could put him in a flight stand. That would look cool, too. Now, this thing always pops off because it's made of a more rigid material. Not really rubber, but like just like a flexible plastic. And it's kind of heavy. So we'll take this, and what I do is I just take it here and slide it in the side. Works good. You can see right in here, you just slide it up in there. Then you can move the arm around and it won't pop out. And it still looks pretty cool. Hey, watch those hands. Whew. My bad, Prime. For the two gas tanks, I find that if you take these thrusters and turn them a little bit, it makes room that they can slide the tanks down. Do the same on this side, rotate it like this, and then take the tank part and it'll fit right in here. Just cleans up the look, both from the front and the back. See, it just looks, looks clean, looks nice. I like it this way. 
All right, Prime, let's get you let's get you straightened up a little bit. A little finessing. And he's really sturdy as well. Doesn't tip over or nothing. Now, for size comparison, here we have Byway's Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. Still a big figure. Here is Studio Series Ironhide and Studio Series Ratchet. Cannons! Hmm. Bumblebee. And here's the older Optimus Prime Star Leader with the Byway trailer set Jetwing attached. Hey, what happened to those little Starscream wings you used to have, sucker? Ichuta! <gasps> How rude! Just a man! And for some jet power comparisons, here is the old leader class figure with the fans wanted jet power upgrade kit, FWI-3. It was pretty awesome for its time. And here is the Iron Warrior jet power armor, IW-06. And this is for the Masterpiece Movie Optimus Prime. Here I had on my Legendary Toys Movie KO Masterpiece figure. And here he is with leader class studio series Fallen from Revenge of the Fallen. Oh, oh snap! snap. I know, I know. Here. Take it. I know you want it. You can't resist my pretty face. Oh, my lucky stars. Ha <laughs> ha, you know me all too well. Woo, the power is yours. Oh, Jetfire's still here. Hmm. Electrify. Electrify. Unlimited power. Wait, wait, it's me. I'm in the suit. Oh, you dummy, I'm in the suit. Oh. No, my bad. Nobody's perfect. And here's Powered Up Prime with some other Revenge of the Fallen robots. We have Megatron, Sideswipe, Sideways, and Skids and Mudflap in their ice cream truck mode. Ring a lang. My face. Please give me my face. Oh. Hmm, sorry, I was going to bar for a few days, you know. Where to prom? Oh. Players. Overall, this is a fantastic set. If you missed out on the Jetfire, or if you have Jetfire and didn't get the DNA upgrade set, then this is a must-have for you. You get the best of both worlds for under 50 bucks. Quality, paint, articulation, it's a great addition to your Transformers collection. Get yours at ShowZStore.com. Let's roll. And make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. More videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, and oh look! I finally have an axe! <laughs> oh, Megatron! I want to show you something up close. <laughs> hey, hey! Hey, hide me! Oh, man! Woo! Hide right yourself! Oh, I got no face! Well, I'm gonna have no head! Let's go, here he comes! Oh, oh, oh. oh come on, guys! Guys? Excuse me, have you seen Megatron? No.